So you notice what I've done here is I've created a link table, essentially. Uh, this is, of course, just an example. It's a sample that uh, shouldn't really necessarily be uh, taken literally um, because there are many other ways to, for example, uh, write link text. But to give you an idea, uh, I've created this table. So let's say I had a company that uh, specialized in office supplies. And um, for the particular section that I'm focused on, uh, it's mainly the dry eraser and whiteboard product business. So I've got my five keywords here, um, starting with dry erase markers. I have a column for the starting page, which means the page that the link uh, resides on. Uh, the landing page, which is the page that that link is pointing to. And then the link text, which is the text that I should use within the link on the starting page. So for dry erase markers, the starting page is office supplies slash dry erase products dot ASPX. The link text should be view all dry erase markers, and that link should point to this page. And the same goes for these other products here. Uh, as you'll see, there might be instances where you have one keyword, I'm sorry, where you have two keywords, but you're trying to optimize for one page because that one page may be relevant to uh, multiple keywords within your list. That's okay. You can optimize one link to focus on both keywords. In this case, the two keywords or key phrases were whiteboards and then also dry erase board. In this case, they both point to office supplies slash dry erase products slash dry erase whiteboards dot ASPX. The link text is now view all whiteboards and dry erase boards. So I've covered two keywords essentially. Um, with one link.